All right, New Haven is known for its pizza, and you'll be able to get a taste of some of the area's best pies at the 17th annual Greater New Haven Pizza Fest at the International Festival of Arts and Ideas, and it's all to benefit the connection. Here to tell us all about it are Claire Bien, the Associate Director of Communications for the Connection, and Luigi Abate, the owner of Abate's Restaurant, one of the many participants in this year's event. Hey, thanks for being here, and thanks for bringing some pizza with you. Oh, it's great to be back. <laughs> great to be here. Uh, before we start making some pies here, let's talk a little bit about the event for people that aren't familiar with it, Claire. This is the 17th annual Greater New Haven Pizza Fest, and it's to benefit the Connection Fund. We are a statewide nonprofit human services and community development agency and offer uh, services in four areas, behavioral health, supportive housing, community justice, and women and children's programs. And our agency is all about recovery and community reintegration. And the great thing about Pizza Fest is it it's a wonderful event for our clients. Our behavioral health clients, uh, a few of them, work the event doing the hard work of setting up some of the tents and sure. the tables and the pizza warming ovens. Basically, the kitchen area where Lou's wonderful pies will be <laughs> um, kept warm and then sure. brought out for Pizza Fest guests. And also our community justice clients um, volunteer at the event. So a lot of our clients have used the event to leverage, um, le have leveraged the job into um, paid jobs in the community. Ah, I see. So it's and it's wonderful for their self-esteem and also, you know, when you work, it's great for the Sure, family. absolutely. And you can't beat pizza. Who doesn't like absolutely. pizza? How many years have you participated in this, Luigi? Since the beginning. Oh, I'm, yeah? I'm happy okay. to say and I'm, I'll be there till the end. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, let's get cooking here. What type of pizza are we making? Well, today we're going to make one of our our most popular requested pizzas. It's called fresh tomato pizza bianco. Bianco meaning white. So we're not putting a sauce on this, we're are we? We're not putting no sauce on it. What we're going to do is better than that. We're going to use fresh tomatoes. I like that. Which this is, uh, this is uh, commonly called the pizza margarita or margarita pizza. And everybody has their own variation on how to do this. And I'd love to show you ours, which is... Yeah. Very popular. I'd First, love to taste yours too. This is a Sicilian <laughs> style. I mean, we also do it Napoli Don style without the pan. And we just put the mozzarella, whole milk mozzarella, which is the finest mozzarella that you could use. And we. So you put the cheese first. Cheese first. And because we want to highlight the fresh tomato. These are beefsteak tomatoes, which are the best tomatoes you can. Yeah. You cut them kind of kind of thin, right? Is that we do. Doing? Yeah, we do because there's going to be a lot of different spices and flavors that we don't want to be overwhelmed by the tomato itself. Okay. But these are uh, these are very very good tomatoes, and you know what? Tis the season for it's fresh, now, fresh right? tomato pizza. There's a lot of native stuff coming out, and that is the best fresh tomato pizza that you can make is with native tomatoes. Mom and Dad used to grow them in the backyard and we couldn't wait. They couldn't make enough pizza. Okay, now to this, very important, we add our spices. Okay. We use some fresh butcher ground black pepper. All right. And it's important to not use table ground, but butcher ground or cracked black. And we use... You can taste the difference, I'm assuming? Oh, very... Okay. Very much different. We use this Greek oregano, imported Greek oregano, and we're very heavy with that, even though it's a strong spice. Of course, pizza wouldn't be pizza without using some fresh garlic. You need that. And every pizza, New Haven style that is, <laughs> uses a Pecorino Romano. Really? Is that a... Or a Reggiano Parmesan, which we use for our gourmet pizza. Okay. We top that off with extra virgin olive oil. Oh, it smells wonderful already. And the uh, there is one more ingredient that is the top secret. Oh, you're not going to share that with us, yeah, are you? I'm going to show you in a second. <laughs> through I the love secret ingredients. Through the magic of television. Oh, what do you know? You have one done already. We have one already for you. Claire, are you a pizza fan? I love pizza. What's your favorite I type? Pizza. I think the margarita pizza. Yes. Yeah, and here's it's what nice it looks like already done. Ooh. Here's the, here's the magic ingredient. All right, Luigi. Fresh chopped basil. In Italian, we say basinigo. <laughs> and you can never have too much of that. Oh, that's fantastic. And there's our fresh tomato 
margarita pizza. And this is going to be on sale at the Pizza Fest? Oh, uh, no, actually, we're using a different type. Different for type? That. All right, we'll have to come down to the restaurant. But and it check is it out available, then. yes. Very good. And I got to ask you, is it a bate or uh, a bait? Well, it's the most commonly asked question. We, we like that people don't know the difference because they call and they ask, uh, and people have argued with their husbands and their wives over it. I say abate. Okay. What do you think? Tell me. Well, either way is correct. <laughs> okay. Abate or abate, we're on Worcester Street, New Haven, famous mm -hmm. Little Italy. Sure. So we pronounce it abate. However, the English pronunciation would be abate. Okay. And it's like uh, basil or basilical, you know. Tomato, so, tomato. What do you right. think, right? Right. And w either way is correct. I have had <laughs> school teachers come in and tell my waitresses, "What's the sabate?" He was Lua Bate for all those years. Now he's Lua Bate. <laughs> oh, that's, but that's great. It. But nonetheless, yeah. it's great pizza, right? Oh, uh, the best, the best. I tell you. <laughs> Let's put some information up on the screen. Check out the 17th annual Greater New Haven Pizza Fest Thursdays and Fridays this week and next from noon to 1:30 on the Green. Perfect for lunch. Uh, it's during the International Festival of Arts and Ideas. If you missed any of that info, just come to WTNH.com, click on Connecticut Style. We're going to sample this at the end of the show.